I have been asked to set a target time on an upcoming track of the day map called Sun Haraya 2. There is already a Sun Haraya map built by the same mapper two years ago, but that one got obliterated by a huge shortcut. And so they've made another one, set in a beautiful jungle environment and with a lot of cool dirt turns. The mappers asked me to decide a target time, but I'm gonna go one step further and add a hundred dollar bounty to the first person that can beat the time I'm gonna set. Let's get into the map and start learning it. All right, so here is the map. Beautiful jungle environment. These are not blocks that are native to the game. They've actually designed all these and then put them into the game. These trees and this valley environment. I am no dirt specialist, but I think I can do pretty well here. Now, the first thing I notice when I open this map is that there is already a GPS left text, which means some players have driven it. So if I'm going to do a target time here, I, I will at least have to beat um, Vig Q's time. And we can actually check it out here. This ghost is Vig Q, I believe, here. And so he does a quantum slide up this hill. No slide, actually. Uh, this is something I'll get into and explain what is. But on dirt, above 235 speed, uh, you're in fourth gear, and then you just want to do speed slides, like the small overlap of the skid marks. And then oftentimes you can even connect the skid marks as well and do a quantum slide. This is a really high pace run. It's a lot of speed through here, sets up wide, goes out on the banking because driving on the bankings tends to be faster on these types of maps. Speed slide here. Now last turn and into the finish up there. So that's what we're up against and that's what we're gonna have to try to beat. That time was a 44.69. Uh, let's see if we can do that. And in any case, how, how far we can push it. So ready in this first hill, I am gonna drive one run just to um, get a baseline, but th there is a trick in that first hill already to save a lot of time. And hopefully I can make this a bit instructive. Like, this is my first time seeing this map and uh, driving it today. And maybe I can teach you guys a little bit about what I think about when I want to improve my time on a map like this. If I'm sitting down and saying, okay, I want to grind this for a really good time, then I'm going to explain my thought process in every turn. So for now, I'm just going off of what I saw and my own intuition. And I'm getting a 47 flat. So about two and a half seconds behind, right? Um, here. In this first uphill, you can snap into a no slide. You see I'm gaining a little bit of speed there. That lets me hit this gear earlier and get into this outside banking with more speed. Now that is just a no slide at under 195 speed. Mark down these numbers. Under 195, sliding on dirt is not faster. At 195 and over, sliding is faster. <laughs> but even better than sliding is both sliding and not sliding at the same time, called quantum sliding. Now I'm not sure if there's a use case for that yet on this map, but it's something you will see a lot on dirt in general. Here we gotta keep a lot more speed, something to remember, 0.6 ahead. And then here, I, I'm i not sure you wanna take both outside lines. We'll have to check that out. Maybe there's a way to reduce airtime and get that downhill there, but in any case, it's a 46.3. So let's see, we gotta go up on the banking. And if you're wondering, when you're playing dirt, when you approach a turn like this. It often helps for me to think of the track in blocks. So there's one block that connects this to an uphill turn, and then there's the actual banking itself. The best place to start a turn like that is at the exact start of the banking block. So here again, you start up here. Now it varies sometimes depending on where your exit's at, but very often that uh, tends to work. So start turning, let the outside catch you. And then this, I think you can quantum slide up this hill, at least the very end of it. This looks good. Out here. It's actually a small brake tab, I think. Okay, so we got that. Now a lot of speed through here. This is going to be a huge improvement. Speed slide here, land a bit wide. 
But what time is it exactly? 45.45, okay. So I'm like point... <laughs> wow. Point 0.8 away from that time from uh, Vig. Yeah, sometimes hunting is not about always improving each run, but rather, like, the more I understand the map, the faster my pace can go. But if I always play to survive each run, then I often will probably hit a... a soft ceiling. I mean, is that the line? Double outside there, that feels so weird. Oh, what a start, wow. 933. That's good. Now we're almost at 44 pace. That's 44. 4486? Okay. I think I need to be able to drive like a 444 to really have a good uh, author time or a good target time here. I don't know what the best play here is. And then I think there's some crazy no air time trick you can do here. I'm starting to think there's some um, tilt trick here. So plus 18. Not the guess, best on plus 16. Maybe, maybe there's like 500s to gain with that. It's tempting because it's flashy to go for that no air time. But I don't know if it actually saves yet. Let's continue this. Oh, that, you see that? Okay, that was a beautiful quantum slide. Like literally exactly what you want to get. Looked like I just had speed hacks towards my PV. There we go. I could feel that that was gonna work. Yeah, let's start. Nice. Beautiful. I got him <laughs> with my strategy 4468 that does beat time from vig that was a really beautiful strategy messed up a little bit my approach here and lost maybe 500 in this part good recovery on the outside line could still be about another 10th or two and then this like what <laughs> i should have waited just a tiny bit on the road and i had a better last turn i i think the strategy saved but we will see now now i don't know if he did a quantum slide here but i I did, and yeah, you can see the quantum slide saves. I hope I haven't been going for something that loose this time. I mean, I'm so far ahead, no? Whoa. Oh no, guys, I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, oh, his turn here is really good, actually. Ah, oh, equal? <laughs> yeah, I think it gains. I just messed up my last turn royally. Huge gains to be had for me in this corner. You see he's already turning inside here and I'm less angled to the right and like half a block later. But then I think with that wobbly approach, cause like, look, I just gotta time my exit better. Guys, I, I think I can do a 0 0.5, 0 0.4 for sure. Uh, let's keep going for a little bit uh, and, and see what we can do. Let me, let me just explain the current strategy, okay? I've been playing this for 45 minutes now. You want to dodge the bumps and set up for an instant no slide up the hill. Like here. After that, you have to dodge the bump and go a little bit under it to get into this turn. After that, you have to go wide and get a very low turn here into quantum slide now. Full grip plus speed slide. Two brake taps or so to get around this corner. Slow down and get the same thing. Dodging the bump, speed slide. Then a sharp line through here. That connects and goes almost all the way out wide. You set up wide, you go close around this bump to set up for this downhill. 
you sort of just hook onto this outside corner, you hit this bump on the inside, get a no airtime, land on this side on the road, and then full send left to the finish. There might be a better strategy than this, and or, you know, even just small things in a, in a certain turn that I haven't seen. But when you're setting a target time, you can't really go off of other people's ideas. There's a plugin that shows action keys. I think for this map, it might be very uh, helpful. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it down here over the speedometer. But this is also like advanced stuff. Like if you're playing and you're just, you know, enjoying dirt, this is a... Like quantum sliding in this turn saves maybe a tenth, a tenth of a second. And you, you will get very far without even thinking about the existence of this stuff. <laughs> That's my fastest start yet, I think. <laughs> I jumped so badly. Oh, that's a, that's a sad PV. That's a sad PV. This start was amazing. And then just what is going on here? I mean, that was not... That was completely dumping. I have to remind myself, like, this is a couple of the day map. You're supposed to be able to drive it every time. But for me, it's like 10 minutes between every time I finish a run. That's good. Yo. The very least fast. Oh, I keep seeing this approach. Good. That could be a PB. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what an ending. 44555. I'm still not happy with this, by the way. This is this is good. Still not happy with it. I'll keep improving a bit. I think I see myself doing a point four now, but just getting that good end with a decent start was already very relieving. Oh please. <laughs> it always feels so annoying when you when you see the skid mark separate as you're expecting a quantum slide and you see it's like that close. You see it's right there. You just tapped right maybe like a hundredth of a second too early. Forty-four, forty-nine. Okay, getting somewhere. This beats the previous Jeep gas by 0.2. I kind of want to keep pushing a bit. Like this was very good. Don't get me wrong. I also thought you can actually quantum slide this exit now down to the right, but that is sketchy. When I started this, I thought okay, 0.5 is my max. But having played it a lot now, I can see so many spots where you can gain time. And so as you improve on a map, you're target also improves to time you feel is like this is good now oh Oh, 44.40. I wanted a 30. 44.40 <laughs> is good, but I missed the jump strat at the end. The rest of this run was really good, though. Jumping all the way out wide, getting this quantum slide set up. This drift was good. This setup was good. Speed sliding down. This setup was good. 
Like, this run was extremely good, apart from this didn't get this uh, airtime reduction that I wanted. Okay, I'll try one more improvement. I'll try for a few more minutes, guys, but 4440 is... This is basically what I wanted. <laughs> more than what I wanted to begin with. Oh, slow. Ah, uh, yeah. Good. That might be PB. Oh, point thirty six. Wow. <laughs> okay, we got to point three. Uh, but the stupid thing is, I want to keep going. This turn was good. The snapout was also very good. I, I entered the quantum slide quite late, but I also got this approach, which was very nice. Could have had more speed, a tiny bit more speed through this, but still okay. Very good landing spot here. Yeah, guys, point two. I mean, seriously, point two. Uh, at this point, point two. When do I ever start hunting a map and then I say, okay, one more. Ah, one more. Good. Oh my god. There it is. Point two. <laughs> I mean, I could keep going, but point two, man. Like, that. this was an insane run. I thought it was over on the outside corner, but then it still hooked onto it. It kind of did. I still got onto the outside. Set up for a speed slide. Did this to reduce air time. Didn't really land properly. Should have probably been about point one, but... I can't hunt this all day, guys. I can't hunt this all day. Ah, oh, it's so... I mean, okay. I could see myself do one more improvement, but I think I'm... I think I... It's good enough for a DPS. I know I can do a point one though. <laughs> Just this turn wasn't that good. And then the landing for my trick wasn't that good. So, in fact, I probably lost time by going for it. Rather than jumping straight. I think that's the... I can't hunt this all day, guys. I can't hunt this all day. One. One, one tiny improvement. Yeah, point fourteen wow. There's no way, right? You see this though? This was point seventeen behind turns to thirty six. Guys, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. Cannot believe how long I've been hunting this for, but it's actually a lot of fun. Also a good opportunity to get a little bit better at dirt. Quantum slides I usually don't actually go for when I see them on maps. Because I, um, I think I'm gonna be too inconsistent at them. And while I am a bit inconsistent here, it's actually good practice. Oh wow, 27? Okay. Yeah, that was a good ending. <laughs> I still want to keep going.
Ooh, okay, that's me done. That is me being done with this map. 44212. I wanted a point one, but I've been playing now for a bit after dinner, and uh, that's good. Yeah, my start here was a little bit bad. I mean, I was like 700s behind my old PB. I can definitely get a point one. The world record's probably going down to like a point zero or even a 43, actually. This was not a perfect one at all. But it's, um... It's hard. I did get my uh, low air time trick though. We got that was beautiful. And I kind of want to compare it now as well. Uh, here's Vig's old GPS time, and here's uh, against my new one. So earlier, slide there, no slide, gets me a lot more time. Up on the banking, slightly ahead. Dr different driving here, but my line is better. And then the quantum slide here to gain even further. Setting up for the drift, I missed the approach a little bit. Up on the banking. And there's a sharper line here. I think he's actually gaining back a lot here, though. And then I'm, I still missed this approach a little bit. I feel like his line was better. But then this airtime trick. Does it actually gain? I think it does. I really think it does. It's a huge gap. So let's give Vig here about 0.35, maybe? <laughs> this is Trackmania brain. <laughs> okay, that was about a 0.35 gap. Now let's see the comparison. So, I'm going for the jump, right? And then I reduce airtime here and I get the entire downhill. No contest. Absolutely no contest if that line is faster or not. It is. And I'm very happy to have found it. And, uh, that is also a really good time overall. Well, I'll send over this uh, time to the author and uh, we'll see uh, what they think of it. I'm very happy with my run, so <laughs> I hope they are too. Uh, and yeah, let me know how you guys get along when this map gets a couple today. I'm looking forward to it. Sun Haraya number two. Very cool map in my opinion. And um, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye bye for now, everybody. Take care. See you later. Bye bye. Hey guys, Base here. So. I just wanted to give an update regarding the bounty, since this video didn't go exactly according to plan. The run you're seeing in the background was driven one week ago by SQLC. They drove a 44.192, which beats Virtual's target time, and they have therefore claimed the bounty already. We might do another video like this in the future though, so if you guys are interested, please leave a comment and let us know. Other than that, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.